Hey guys, here's Stu. I uh, just thought I'd do a further update on the Thomas Amsel Gruber Tiger One build I'm currently doing at the moment in between two other projects. Um, as you can see, I've come on quite a bit since the last update. Uh, progress is going on very well. In fact, today has been my first day. Now I'm feeling a little bit more recovered from my bug uh, that I've actually concentrated on getting on with this little puppy. Um, as you can see, I've got the con the actual turret fully, con well, almost fully constructed. It's not quite finished yet, as uh, so I've got to add the spare tracks to the side of the turret. Um, in regard to that, actually, I was going to ask a question, and I uh, know it might sound a bit daft and a bit of a simple question, but obviously this is the first time I'm actually going to put the spare tracks on, on the side of the turret. Would it be better for me to wait until I've painted it to put them on or should I do it whilst I've got on there? So if anybody could let me know, I'd be very, very grateful. All right. And that would actually so, um, sort of wrap up a little mystery for me because I'm not quite sure if it's going to be harder for me to paint the tracks whilst they're on the side of the turret. Or would it be better to add them after I've painted the vehicle? Anyway, as I say, let me know on that one, guys. OK. Um, other than that, um, it's been a bit of a busy afternoon for me on this little baby. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it still. Um, as you can see, I've basically got the cupola in position, which um, fortunately, if I take it off, was a bit of a nightmare, to be honest. Um, building it and assembling it was fine. But trying to get it onto the top of the turret, as you can see here, has been a bit of a nightmare. Um, it's still a bit of a dirty gap in there, which is right where the weld seam is moulded. I don't know if anybody can see that, because uh, I'm trying to get this little bugger to focus. I think you can just about see that. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a <laughs> issue, let's just say the air was turning a little bit blue for about 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to get the damn thing on. What was pausing the problem was the vision ports that you had inside the cupola. Um, where they're coming down, they're actually blocking um, the space for it to fit in properly. So what I had to do to basically get it to fit on there at all was to cut and sand them. And even then, it wasn't um, an easy fit. Uh, so I'm going to have to put a little bit of putty or filler in there. Uh, to basically fill in the gap but other than that once I'd actually finished with that issue um, the assembly of the rest of the turret was pretty straightforward and I did actually check my references I'm just gonna if bear with me I'll just pop that keep that on the actual tiger at the moment whilst I look this picture up which I used as a reference photo uh, okay, bear with me a minute guys, it's just trying to come up, it's a bit slow, so connection's a bit poor tonight, so bear with me a minute guys, uh, okay, here we go, um, where are we, right, okay, uh, right, we're just running up, I'm just going to get into photos, As I say, it is a little bit slow tonight. Um, right, where are we? Ah, here we go. I can get that one to come around the right way. Oops, and my tablet's just fallen down. Here we go. This is the reference photo. As you can see, got the gun cradle in place um, so I elected to stick keep that on there because basically in the instruction sheet it shows you how to assemble it but for the rest of the sheet it doesn't actually show them with the coup with that um, gun rest on there at all so referring to the original photo I thought right that solves the issue so there you go um, as I say, the rest of the assembly is coming on pretty well. Um, as I say, I've got I've got the I got the storage set put on the back, which went on a lot easier than the other Tiger I did. There is apparently a indicate that if I pull it around, 
there should be another fire extinguisher that can go on there if you want it so I may go into my spare source and see if I can get one and put it on there and I've tried to get the actual loaders hatch to sit a bit more flush um, I did sand it down a little bit I think I may have gone a little bit overboard on that and uh, it's left a little bit of a gap so again it's not an issue because I can just put some putty or filler in there and just go with the zimmerit and just basically go with it with a knife and there you are hey presto Bob's your uncle so that will be done um, again as you can see I've got all the edge brass on the metal grit the engine grill so that's all there tow ropes are all in place as well as the tools and a little ammunition pack at the big at the top there at the front and the last thing I did today was add spare tracks onto the front llama so uh, yeah she's looking really good guys um, I have to say I'm very happy with the way things are going on this build and I hope you are too um, hopefully next time you should see her she'll be in primer and uh, ready for painting anyway that's it for now guys um, if you like the update subscribe um, leave your comments because I can now actually answer your comments I've got around the issue I was having with Google so uh, until then get kick crazy happy modeling and I'll speak to you soon